Well, hello guys. It has, oops, has been a little bit since I've done a video. It is, um, I would say probably since last August, maybe even July, um, since I've done a video. So, um, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> and it's just a video it's not a live so i'm going to put it uh on youtube and i'll link to it on facebook and all the good things but today i wanted to talk about our kits so if you don't know um most um what am i trying to say most um months i do a kit night which i keep changing the name kit together craft night kit craft night kit with friends like i i can't figure it out so if you guys have suggestions please let me know but it's usually the fourth friday of the month and it's in the evening from six to about eight eight thirty just kind of depends um how tired we are but i have one on the calendar for tomorrow, April 26th. Um, so if you're in the Yuma era, area and you have to RSVP, we would love to have you. And so kit night is where you come to the Crafty Casita. And if you have a kit, whether you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber or you've purchased a kit from me, um, then you come to the casita, we hang out, and we just create the kits. So easy peasy, chicken squeezy, as my husband uh, would say. But I wanted to talk about this kit, which just came out uh, the beginning of the month. So Stampin' Up! is um, releasing two kits a month. This is one of them. I happened to get this kit when I was at On Stage in Houston. So I pulled it out today and wanted to play with it, getting ready for kit night. And so I wanna show you the cards and how cute they are. So this is the finished pro product. And then this one is Hooray for Honeycomb. Look how cute that is. And I'm sure like if I was, when I send this card, I'll stamp happy birthday on there, um, you know, but right now, it's like this. And then here's another one, the berry. Very proud of you. So this honeycomb is on the front. I did I did make it the way they intend. So you're obviously gonna send this, or I mean hand deliver this to somebody. Or you're gonna squish this, which even if you do squish it, it's still gonna come out super cute. Um So there's that with the inside, with the berries. The kits have really come a long way from when Stampin' Up! first started, like Paper Pumpkin. Like, um, I know Paper Pumpkin was started uh, before we got here, so I'm really bad with years. But so maybe 12 years ago, maybe? Um, but anyway. The kits are really um, amazing, and they're, they're a great thing, one, to take if you're traveling. You know, um, you guys know that I we travel, and I always take a box so that I have something to do while, whether the husband's hunting or we're just hanging out in the hotel, and, um, or like, whatever. If I want cards, then I'll just bring a kit, because they're super easy, and, everything you need to complete these projects except for maybe like scissors um you get in the box so that's a really good thing and it all fits and i'll show you the box here in a minute but so here's the congratulations you did it i think how perfect for graduation season right i um and look at how, can you guys tell how shiny that is it's like it's shiny it's very cool all right, so those are the three cards. Let's see, this kit you get um, 
for nine cards. So you get three of each. You so like here are you get the honeycombs, right? Now to attach the honeycombs, I will give you a little bit of a tip here, is that I peeled off one side, I attached it, and then I folded it in the fold. I you know I stuck it in the fold and folded it over like so, and then peeled off the top and then squished it. So hopefully that makes sense. You get glue dots, you get twine. Um, the envelopes are always amazing when it comes to um, the kits and the paper pumpkin. So paper pumpkin is a monthly subscription or you could buy a um, like a prepaid subscription. You can um, suspend it. We get we get little sneak peeks. So if say uh, like next month is going to be um, kind of male centered cards, like uh, like Father's Day. Now don't let that scare you though, because I say Father's Day, but don't let that scare you. Anything you know, you, we all need guy cards, so you could always turn something that was meant for a Father's Day card into a guy happy birthday or a thinking of you. Um, so don't let that scare you, but, um, so there's paper pumpkin, which shows up at your door monthly, or there's the kits where you can go online and I'll put the link in the description for both. Um, you could go online, you see the kits, you see what's available. Um, like one that they released with this guy is, um, it has dogs and cats in it. It's super cute, but it's not available right now. And it says not available, so that means it's coming back. Um, so very, very popular. But let's go back to the envelope. So here's your rainbow, your berry, your balloon envelopes. And then on the flip side, doesn't that just make you want to eat like some sherbet or something? I don't think so. Maybe we'll get some sherbet. <laughs> and then you have, like I said, the cards. They come flat. The rainbow one came folded over just so it could fit in the box. But so there's that. You get, um, oh, you did get dimensionals. Let me flip that over so the, it's not so shiny. Um, you, you do get dimensionals. This is my personal pack, but like a dimensional thing that's maybe like this big. I just didn't use those. Um, and then you get this kit has everything there's no stamping in this kit right some kits there's no stamping you're just building your card or your creation other kits there's stamping so this one has no stamping everything is already um, printed for you but it comes in different languages which is awesome let's just get these guys and so you're just punching stuff out so I thought maybe I would make Let's do the rainbow card because that one's kind of fun to do. And I will show you how I made it. Okay. So here's the rainbow card. We're going to need, and there, oh, I should tell you, there are directions that come with every kit. So it tells you what um, you need, right? Like, so here you're going to need some twine. This uh, punch out dimensionals this honeycomb and then it tells you how to how to assemble it so super easy directions for all of your kids nothing's too too complicated let's do um i need the other congratulations congrats and you did it where's the other you did it. So you're just punching these guys out. One thing you could do too is if you were like going to um, put these away and you could punch everything out and keep everything in the envelope so that you could just make it when you needed it if you wanted to do that. Okay. Let's see. I have everything I need. Look, I forgot something. I need 
fabric scissors or ribbon scissors. I um, I think I need more pairs. I need to have one here, some on the table, some at my desk. Okay, so what we're gonna do is in the directions, it does tell you to cut these guys like so, cut them in half. Or if you have the mini ones, you could use those. For my first card, I actually used, um, and you could cut them this way too, or use the edges, that would work too, right? Cut them in half. So Stampin' Up! does sell mini dimensionals, which would work perfect for this if you have them. But what they give you, you can use. Um, for the first card I made, I used um, glue dots. For some reason, I have a lot of glue dots, a lot. So I was like, I'm gonna use those. Okay. So we're gonna peel all these guys off. If your fingers aren't working, you can always use your pick a tool. But today my fingers are working. Yay, okay. So we're gonna put this guy on there like so. We're gonna add some, let's see, some glue dots on the bottom. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have any glue dots where it's gonna hit the sun because I don't want that popping up too much and then it would be at an angle. So we're gonna add our you did it yay whoever gets this card hopefully they bring it it brings a smile to their face it's just so bright and happy right i love these colors so for the um we're gonna add that down there and I don't know if you could tell, but this guy, the one that I made, I did add a second row of, of dimensionals to make this guy even higher. See, I don't know, can you see that? But this one's all one level. Um, so back to the, the kit night. If you, um, I'm looking for the sun. If you have, purchased from me in the last month, if you're part of the team, if you're part of the Blessed Crafters team, which um, if you have ever thought about joining Stampin' Up, I will tell you that uh, next month there's gonna be an amazing deal. Um, but if you're part of the team, you get to come for free. Um, there's, you purchase a kit, you get to come for free. Um, it's just a great time to come together to chat to uh, build friendships and have connection. And that's really the the best thing, I think, about Stampin' Up. Don't get me wrong, I love being crafty. I love my craft room is my happy place. Um, but I love sitting around the table and connecting. So just reach out to me and uh, I would love to see you. Okay, so did you guys see, I pulled off the one layer of the adhesive, put this guy down like so, just fold it. And then we're gonna peel off this other layer, I wanna say level layer, and then we're gonna squish it down like that. And then our sun is gonna pop up, how cute! Congratulations, you did it. These are gonna make great graduation cards, I think. And I actually have on order a graduation set because I have a, a, a guy graduation that's coming up. So I don't think I'm gonna do rainbows, but um, it would be great to put like, I don't know, something about graduation in there. So if you're looking for a graduation set, it's online uh, and you can see that set that is available now. So anyway, okay. Almost a 15 minute video. I haven't, like I said, I haven't done one in a really long time. I haven't gone live since I don't know, but 
um, May 4th, I'm going to go live. So I'm going to figure out all the technical stuff beforehand. This is why I did this video. See about lighting and um, placement of all my uh, lights and my phone holder and all that fun stuff that has been on hiatus for a while. So hopefully this gets you guys thinking about being crafty and connection. And I will talk to you guys all later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.